Well, good morning. I want to uh, show you about the um, uh, the rod rod limits, the upward limits, as well as to the um, to draw the um, the batters <coughs> for the for the rod, especially for this uh, the horizontal alignment, the um, the extent of the the cuts, uh, just like this. Uh, the extent of the, um, the of the 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 embedment and the extent of the cut. Okay, so this line is the is the uh, the embedment, the limit of embedment, and uh, and this is the for this part. Uh, this is the the uh, the uh, the cut. So this when this symbol, the teardrop symbol. When it's pointing away from the uh, from the from the carriageway, then it it denotes um, a few few material, and this when it's pointing towards the carriageway, it denotes a cut. So uh, for this one, uh, for example, for at the end of chenesh, it's pointing away this this a uh, a few or an embedment. And sometimes we we do have um um <coughs> uh, uh stagger and this one the embedment uh this this flat part this which is two meter wide is the is the berm um for the embedment because because that one the um aside from the uh, from from this um. Uh, the the templates of the for the embedment we uh this embedment is is only uh for a width of um three point nine five meter okay the sorry uh the width of the embedment is three point five point nine three meter um for the first first drop and at for the height of three point nine three which give Gives us the um, um <coughs> give us this um the stop of one to one and a half. So and this flat part here is a uh, two meter wide. Okay, so there can be a flat this on the bump um for the for the uh, cut as well also two meter wide. The difference between the cut and fill um is that uh, the stop uh, stop can be different. Okay, the stop can be different. This one is um uh one to one half base for the cut. In this case it's one to one because both horizontal and vertical are the same uh same dimensions. So sometimes we do have the cut and half cut, half few uh situations. <coughs> so we need to establish the uh the <coughs> The limit of upward, whether it's cut or whether it's filled. So um, this um, the cross section that that we have done will give us the um, uh, to to give us to all the limits of the 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 uh, the the cut or fill. So we can see that for example this one um, this is this other this is the um, from from here to here, this is the limit is the the width of the carriageway, but the upward is going up to this point, and the upward on the right hand side is going to this point. So the limit of of upward, uh, I can just just copy the line. Um, to the to this point, to that point. So the limit of what with respect to the center line, center line of that, I'm going to I just go to layers. Uh, I have a layer of what um back uh I think the limit which is should be the red color, yeah over limit so I make it current. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line. Just draw a line from uh, this point to 
this that way. Um, it's supposed to be a red line. Uh, let's show why it's in a red line. Let's check uh, of what they made this layer. Mm, what okay, the color by layer. It's not color though. Okay, it's supposed to be a red red color. Um okay, I'll try again. I'll just, just delete that. I, I just copy from uh, it should be a red uh, I think the red color. Uh I just got I think the um, for for this I have done it before, so I just let's say I copy from this one. Uh, I, the one I've done uh, from the best point of that um, okay so this this one represents the, the limit of work and as similarly for second one um, uh, this one is actually the limit is here uh, the limit of what we draw a line from here um, to this point so what we do is that uh, I just copy the line uh, because we need to draw this is the um, horizontal li line position we need to draw it from the from the uh, datum okay so I just copy that one uh, this line and then this is the um, the limit which is um very flat actually is uh, almost uh, almost the the ground level the ground level and the formation level almost the same okay so um, the limit of, of work in this case it will be um, from this point until this point. okay I don't know why uh, I cannot get the color so what I do is I just uh, match the property of them to this one. Okay. Okay. So that we have to do for all. Uh, this one will be easier. Okay. This one is bigger. We can see clear, clearer. So I just say I do this one. Um, let's copy the line. I need to draw the parallel line from this point to this. Point point and then and then the other side is um to this point so uh draw a line from from this the outside the outside line and towards the okay. so I just uh, match the property uh, match property this try again uh, match property mm, so try again match property okay so do this for all the cross section all the nine for my case is my section my section so in the end you'll come up with the um, the the red line for all the section okay so with this I think I just I just uh, move this one over um, so something is ready I just uh, get rid of the previous one. So I move it nearer to the um, the drawing. Okay. So all this um, <coughs> the cross section at the various changes from zero, twenty, and so on. Uh, this this red line determine the um, limit of cut and fill. So I'm going to uh, transfer this line to the to the various cross section. 
and remember and remember that this this like this uh, question they are they are still with the at the same orientation with the um, with uh with the uh, with the construction on the ho the horizon on the plan okay um, that's why we we want to keep the cost we do the construction uh at this orientation although later on we need to rotate it to the horizontal position because of when we present the <coughs> the ho the cross section okay so for this um all this red line i am going to transfer them I just copy uh, with respect to the center line. Okay, the center line. I just I just type C E N center center of circle. Um, okay, the center of circle. Uh, okay, try again. Uh, copy uh, C E N. Okay, I think that's the center. <clears throat> and just move to the mid midpoint, um, midpoint or the center end point. Okay, this should be right. Okay, and I go for the next one. Uh, copy. Uh, center. And um, it's the midpoint as well, midpoint of that uh, that line. Um, okay, next one. Copy. Just put C E N. I just put in intersection. <clears throat> okay, the next one. Copy. Respect to center. C E N. <clears throat> Intersect. And for this one as well, the change uh, was the eighty. Cent uh, center. <coughs> Intercept. Okay, so we do it for all the cross section, all the cross section through. Uh, just uh, uh, copy the the limit of what the red line, red lines, and then put it on the at the 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 corresponding cross section. So after we finish that, actually we will we will get something, you know, or uh, like this. All the for the all the red line for the various um uh, place. So I think I have done that. I just copy. Uh, this line. Uh, with respect to the, I think the first point. This this point. Okay, just put there, copy it over there, and then I just um best point with with to the same point. So I got all the all the um, the red line the. The limit of work from channel zero towards the end channel. Um, now we need to draw the. Um, <coughs> uh, this is the uh, the limit of work, whether it's um cut in this case or the fill in that case. Okay, so I go to the. <coughs> um, the layers. I'm going to change to. Uh, the better. Okay. 
which is in this case is supposed to be green in color okay so uh, we need to, we we supposed to join all the line together all the, the point from this point to the next point but uh, we have to know that uh, we cannot join every point together because we have to sometimes we need to differentiate sometimes there are some cross section of cards some are few um, we look at this one <coughs> this is a card okay on the, for the we will look at the left left hand side this is a card and the next one <coughs> is a card as well um, 40 this one's a card as well 40 is a card and 60 is a card and but on at this uh, change 80 the left hand side is actually is a few so between 60 and 80 there's a change there's a transition from cut to few so we need uh, we need to indicate on the uh, <coughs> on the on the plan so for example this case so between change 80 60 and 80 so at that at one point there is a uh, there's a uh, position whereby the the the, uh, the formation level is almost is, is at the same height as the the uh, the ground level. So we so the for example this cut section we reduce the the height of the form the the uh, the limit of of work will will reduce on the left hand side and then until it touch touches the um, the uh, the carriageway and then from from this point it will increase again because this part will be the uh, the <coughs> uh, the fuel fuel section the the sorry the uh, embedment and then we and then between i think between 100 and 120 uh the 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 upward change from this is the um, fill or embedment to cut again okay to cut again and then this is just a very tiny upward so between 120 to 140 it change it changes from cut to fill you know we look at the symbol this is a fill cross section okay so we need to when there's a when there's a transition from cut from cut to fill we need to identify the position uh, whereby it it change each where is the position it should change okay so we look at the uh, we can know the position of change um, from the log section because the log section the, the formation level generally indicates the, um, the center line position not the edge of the carriageway because for this case um, we are not with the upward uh, for the left hand side and right hand side, we need to know the the formation level at the edge, not the center, not the center line position, and then need to consider all the contour. So we look at the let's say the for between sixty and eighty. For this part, if we look at the <coughs> if we look at the, um, this formation level, sixty and eighty, so it's around. 60 it's around 54.22 to 53.08 so it's around about around 50 54 okay the, so it should touch uh, the, the the limit of what should touch the um should touch the con the, the position with the, the ground level with the contour of around 54 okay so when you look at this um <coughs> this is the uh, 50 contour 52 54 so the cut section will will sort of um, touch this point uh, with the contour about this one is about 50 around 50 around 54 you know 50 uh, almost 54 50 is uh, because <coughs> it's between um, 54.22 to 53 so I just put I think I here I just mark it less than um, <clears throat> less than 54. Okay. So we do the same thing for 
um, this part as well, but this one is uh, more or less, you know, it's very, the upward is very small. Similarly, we, we can, we, when we do the uh, upward limit for the right hand side, uh, this one, uh, on the, there is a change of um, uh, upward from cut for, uh, before uh, until the 80, change 80, and from 80 to 100, there's a change from cut to fill. So for this position, we can look at the, um, the, the formation level um, from 80 to 100, okay? So the, it's around uh, drop from 53.08 to 51.84. So about, let's say, um, 53 or 52. Okay, so because this one, uh, we, uh, is quite, <coughs> uh, it's quite tiny. So because the the the, the cut section is uh, is quite a small small amount of cut compared to the fill. So I think I will just put it about um, this one about fifty three point something. This is a fifty four. This is fifty two. So. Okay, so it's probably not, not going to make much difference if I, um, if I put it further down because this is the, this one, the cut is much more compared to the view. Okay, probably just if, okay, so it should be between the, uh, the for this, for this point, it should be between 53 and 51. Okay, so I put it around 53 because um because um okay because it's uh, nearer because it's this one compared to the the amount of uh the cut and amount of fill this one is is uh proportionally is much smaller. <coughs> okay, so after we okay we we can join up all the line. So I just do the P line. Um, okay, excuse. Before that, with this, actually we need to do the um, the carriage way. The carriage way is um whether it's cut or fill is uh, five meter wide. Five meter wide. So I will need to off uh, offset two point five from 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 the Center line, so I just offset two point five. Okay, so after this, then we can do the I I join the um for the for the upward limit until um sixty. I know that from 60 to 80, there will be a change uh, from cut to fill. Uh, just now I said that it's about 54, 54 point something. So I'm going to, just going to estimate, you know, it's over here, uh, 54, about around 54. And then this is the point transition from cut to fill. So the next one is here. <coughs> okay. And... And know that from from hundred to one twenty, there's a change from fill to cut, and from hundred twenty to hundred forty, is a change from cut to fill again. Okay, just a uh, roughly. Um, I just spot the. <clears throat> Because the, the the amount of work is very small between this hundred to hundred and forty, so probably it's not going to make much difference. Okay, that's for the uh, left left hand side. I do the same thing for the right hand side as well. We know that um, there is a um, um, continue 
uh, about continuous um, the cut section until um, up just slightly after 80 <clears throat> and then later on there's a change from cut to fill and later on uh, from after after 120 there's a change from uh, from fill to cut okay <clears throat> So I join all this point, and and the thing is that uh, you know um, if I join the point between sixty and hundred, uh, the the upward limit the upward line limit line going to cut into um, cut into the carriage way. So I just uh, to to uh, to avoid that, I just uh, I just uh, draw a line and then make a change point. Okay. Um Okay, just um <clears throat> from okay from sixty to eighty. Because if I join this point, I'm going to cut into the um, uh, the carriageway as well. So I just uh, do some, um, just put a change point. And then from 80 to 100, <coughs> I, that's a transition from the cut to fill. <coughs> so I just uh, reduce. Two, and then join up this one, <clears throat> and then there's a tran I think there's a transition from 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 fill to cut from this point onwards. <clears throat> okay. Okay, the, so there's two positions, these two part, well, the, the embankment, um, they have a uh, property, there is a berm around it. So we will need to, um, uh, to show the berm as well, you know, this, uh, at the distance of, um, if it's an embankment, uh, at the distance of 5.93, I'm going to offset 5.93 for embankment. If it's a cut, then you have to have to offset uh, horizontal distance of 3.95 from the edge of the carriageway. <coughs> so these two are the embankment. So I'm going to offset um, offset 5.93. And from the right hand side as well. And the berm is of width. Um, with uh, two meter, so I offset another two, two meter. <coughs> and I'm gonna trim, trim the, uh, the land, the line. Just um, trim of the extra land. Um, <coughs> And I just um just uh mesh the properties so this is the same color. Okay. After that we okay to indicate whether it's a cut or field we need to show the you um, use, use show the symbol with um, the symbol is the is the this teardrop. 
So when there is a, a cut, then the, the teardrop, the, the needle, the point, the, this one, the needle, this one, the sharp point, this one, the line, the line, the needle point is pointing towards the, the carriageway. When it's um, embedment, the needle is pointing away from the carriageway. Okay, so I just copy uh, one of these and I move it to this point. So what I want to do actually is I just um, instead of doing on the on the um, on in in the um, among the topography, it will be easier for me. I just copy out and then do it outside and then just um, pass the the teardrop into the uh, into the, uh, the this one the upward line. So I just copy out. And actually I want to, uh, because I need to orient, orient I need to, um, to orientate this, um, this teardrop perpendicular to the edge line. I will need to use the array path as well to do that. So but I, uh, I, I think I will just, uh, uh, there are three, because the teardrop, some, for the cut, it will be point towards the carriageway when it's uh, when it's the um, uh, the um, the embedment you point away from the carriageway. So there are few parts. This um, so the first part I, I need to break into the few parts. So I just draw a line to to break it later on. Uh, I just, um, I think I just copied three times. I copy. And I just, um, made two trim. I just trim, I just get into the, let's say, just first part, just trim off this line. Uh, I, I don't need the other line. I need that one as well. Second part, I will trim off um, the the rest leaving behind the um, I just uh, erase the the line. Then last part, I I will just trim off the rest leaving behind the last part. The rest then. So I will have um, this um, three components to for me to fill in the order. This one the symbol. So for the first part, um, I going to the teardrop is going to uh, point towards the the edge of the carriageway. So I just uh, move it. Um, up and then towards the um, okay I, I need to move it to pointing towards the join to the okay and then I'm going to orient orientate it uh, 90 degree, perpendicular to it so I rotate okay and based on this point and if I click this one, so this was 90 degrees. So the teardrop, uh, we will, uh, in general, we will space it out at around 10 meter interval. So I do the array path. Uh, I'm just going to change it to 10 meter. Okay, so um, yeah, in block. So I I will need to because I need to delete some of the the 
uh, sound the which the the this symbol which not necessary. So I just uh, explore explore them and I remove um let's when the when the when the gap is so small I I don't want to put any symbol is is because it's quite meaningless. Uh, even this one is a bit small as well. Um, so actually I can do with uh, just two. I saw that people know that when you look at symbol, we know that it's a cut. Um, now it's a question of how we're going to, because this one is uh, the this symbol should be should be placed in between the this one edge edge of the uh, the the carriage way as well as well the upper limit. So I just uh, do the I go and scale it SC 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 stand for S E A L E short form. So I just scale it. I just put a uh, click that, and then the best point. I just try to think that this one the best point. Okay, I can just um uh we I have new to do it with F X off. I think if we put F X on. We, I can't do it. F X when F X F X is on, the auto I think it's autography is on. I can't do it. But when F X is off, let's see. Um, okay. So you have to try to juggle up with it. To place near to the center. Okay, about that point. Um, and let's do the scale for the next one as well. Okay, about there. So, um, I will do this, and then the next one is um. Uh, I think I just place my. Here, drop uh, copy. <clears throat> so, this one I need to point away. First of all, I just rotate it 100, uh, 180 degree. <laughs> okay, and I in this case, I just uh, move this one. Um, I think I just use the nearest NEA from the back, and then I'm gonna move it um to the just uh, somewhere here. I don't know how many I will get. Uh, just put there, and I gotta rotate it. Um, let's say this point, the intersect intersection point. I I'm going to rotate it to ninety. I think it's about ninety degrees. So it's bad. So that actually is the same, almost same, same point. I actually I can just in this case uh, the first this can be the first one. But so, um, just move it along. So make sure it's inside the within the line. So this one is just done. Is done. So I'm going to uh, array path. Um, array path. Okay, and then we'll put into ten. Okay, okay. So, uh, I need to delete the last one. I would explore it first. Explore. I'm going to delete the last one. Okay, the first three they're alright. The last one I think is a bit too long, so I do need to scale it. And then I, uh, from this point, oh, it's a bit too big. Okay, about the point. So <clears throat> I have this, and then. The, the one down here, I think I probably just get, I uh, just copy one. 
um, how this works not very slow. Let me just copy just one copy will do to show that you know the um, is it is a um, embedment. So after we have done this, then what I do is that you know for this point, I just uh, for the first one, I just copy from this point. Okay, it will be it will appear in in the same position. And the second one, <coughs> I copy the the symbol. And uh, actually, I can use just use this point is uh, any point that's a corresponding point. Uh, this one is quite an easy point for me to go. So be this point. So okay, so we do everything. Um, <clears throat> we we do this uh, the symbol for this part, part and then the, the this part as well and for the right hand side as well. You know, the right hand side, and then we end up um, having all the symbol here. Uh, there's something like this. Okay, the symbol all for the left and right side. Um, but when you present it, um, it's a bit uh, with the contrast is not that good. So uh we need to present something uh which is a very lighter background it's a very uh <clears throat> the background is not very um this so far is a uh, quite fan quite it's not very um <clears throat> it's it's not as strong as the 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 of the this one the upward limit as well as the better so we need what we need to do is we, um, to put the, uh, the the background in a very light color okay so very soft with a gray color so for example okay so let's say we have done this one uh, we need to delete all the uh, the this red line because it is not necessary so actually we can just um, let's say for example copy this um, Okay, so I in the first place I just uh, delete this uh, the red I don't need a red line. <clears throat> just delete the red line. Oh. Okay, this is not everything. Um, I just I think uh, probably not not the right one. Okay, this one got everything. I think the if all the the symbol. Let's copy this. Uh, not copy. <clears throat> okay, so um, I I will just uh turn off this um. Turn off the uh, the layers. Let me see. Uh, where is it? Where are the layers? Let me see. Oh, these are the layers. Need to put the the layers line is just come came off. Need to um, okay. Um, the layers. I think the lay. Okay. The we need to actually we need to turn off all the line. Okay. Um, this will be a problem with uh. Okay. Uh, I I cannot. Be hard to do the, do the um, turn off the layers. So uh, 
what what I want what I want to let you know is that uh, we can just uh, turn off all the <coughs> uh, the carriageway line, the central line, and then all the uh, the upward limit, the battle and the the symbol we turn off, and then we we can just um. Let's say you know we we can just uh, so I, I just delete it. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's harder for me. So let's show you how to do that. Uh, I just halting. I just block the halting, and then I can just um change the layer. Uh, not not change not the layers. The start of layer, um, the the con the properties. So if actually let's say I is this part. Um, when I the color, uh, the layers the color varies. Okay, if I go to select, you know where select this one the gray. Actually, all this one will become, you know the. Um, if I change it to gray color, so you can all change the gray color. You know, or this one. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, uh, it, the best way is to turn off all these layers for the, uh, for the, the carriage way. The change all these things, the change mark, and then the upward, upward limit, and then the vectors and the symbol, and then, and then just uh from the properties you make them into this uh light gray color, and after that you finish you turn back, you throw the <coughs> the layers again, and then it will um it will be appear like this. So that is more is. It's easier to see the contrast. Okay, it's more clearer to show the upward. Okay, so I will leave it uh, as such, and hope this fully is uh, is helpful for you to do the upward limit as well as the better. Thank you very much.